Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. Good luck. Hmm. <laughs> this is somewhat curious. Hmm. <laughs> so we're close to building Diamond Mino. Mm hmm. That makes sense. I can still put pressure over here. It's going to be confusing. Um, oh, they bring the Rook over. That I did not expect. I thought that was some other piece they moved. That's a Rook. Alright, I'll play this to help solidify my castle a bit. Uh, that's a bit aggressive, no? What's this about, sir? <laughs> I get it that you're defending this point, but um, isn't this a bit extremely aggressive? I don't understand. Let's find out. I mean, I've been one to break up my castle to start an attack, but so I'm not really in a position to criticize. But this looks really scary. I don't know. Threatening? So I've unblocked my rook. Ah, they use the king to defend the, itself. That makes sense. Um, hmm. Nice, calm moves are met with this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to see how this gets complicated. I missed that.
Hmm. This is not going well. But I have a counterattack, so let's enjoy it. Oh, my Rook is hanging. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, hmm. What a mess. Uh, we weren't using that Rook anyway. It's fine. Ish. Maybe I should have pushed the pawn instead of taking a silver, because I'm giving the silver back, and I don't know. It's a bit over my head, isn't it? Um... Interesting. Go Fun. That's a fork. I was trying to aim for this fork, but I don't think it works. Um. I was convinced that this fork works. <laughs> Can I not just take this? Well, I thought I could take this. I keep thinking I can take it. Um, if I read something a dozen times and each time it's incorrect, what can I do? I don't know. There's no cure for insanity. Interesting. This is terrible, but what can I do?
3分。It's such a facile defense. So easily crushed. But there's nothing I can do. Yeah, thanks for the game. One down, two to go. By w oh, the game's been disabled. Uh, let's try this again. If I somehow win the next five in a row in the next 12 hours, good luck. In that case, I this site awards me a special avatar. But otherwise, I don't need to worry about such gambling concerns and can just be content to live my life. Hmm. I might already be lost or in a terrible position here. Um, the tactics that I'm normally supposed to aim for are not present because I did not play this correctly. Hmm. I can try this. This looks sketchy. Oh, now they drop a pawn. Okay, I'm in trouble. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Um, Alright, fine. I accept my punishment. There goes my knight. There's nothing I can do. I mean, hopefully I get something for having given up a knight, but I wouldn't bet on it. Mm -hmm. Now they have a rook. And a knight. This attempts to ward off the rook drop threat. Um, since they don't have a pawn just yet. But this is not good. Once they get a pawn, they could drop it on my silver's head, and it's very difficult to escape this in one piece. Um... Yeah, it makes sense for them to defend a bit. Um, I guess we'll try this. It's a tricky move. And the idea is that this is a fork, and they can block at the rook. However, after such a rook block, uh, then I can unlock this threat. So I'm actually surviving here a little bit. Um, yeah, they're threatening this knight move, and fine. So, we'll go ahead and take the lance, and then use that to continue making threats. 
We're threatening the snipe now. The rook still can't escape here. Okay, they have protected this knight directly. Um, this is interesting. So I get a piece for a pawn. They get a dragon. Mm -hmm. This pawn is loose. I think I just aim directly for the king and try not to have any regrets here. But yeah, if I manage in the next 12 hours, including the nightly reset that happens in like a few hours here, if I can win five in a row, I get a special avatar. If not, no big deal. We did our best. And this is a site where a lot of gambling... I don't know. It's... It's not really gambling. But... It's not the greatest feeling. We'll just put it that way. Um... So a lot of whatever that is happens here. Um, now, they could use a knight to defend this. I could force them to put a knight here to defend this. Um, It'd be great if I could get one more piece attacking that square. Or attacking some easy to crush target. That'd be nice. Um, well, plus if I don't, they're going to bring the silver up and my problems will be increased. So... Hmm. I don't know what to do. Maybe I could have aimed for this, but no, they could have used a knight to defend it. Yeah, this is a clever rook retreat. I'm just going to assume this is clever. Maybe it's not. But let's assume it is, and if it is, then it's going to be amazing. If it's not, then oh well. This is still a pin. I'm just assuming this exchange is worth it. It very well might not be. I can't see how the opponent would use a bishop here. And I have some thoughts about how to use a rook. The thoughts are probably wrong, but it's good to have a plan, even if it's not, you know, a good plan. It's good to have a plan. So I could drop the rook, take this pawn, threaten that. That's the plan. It's not sophisticated, but, you know, it's a plan. Go Hmm.
Oh, I just hung this pawn. <laughs> I was so excited about um, this potentially hanging and being able to push pawn 5-5 five five here and how intensely confusing pawn 5-5 five five is that uh, I didn't stop to think about how good any of this is overall. Maybe this is the reasonable way to go. My silver is still way the hell out of play here. Um, that's not easy to correct. This bishop's doing nothing. Other oh, it's looking nice. Scaring the crap out of the opponent, but it's not functioning. We've somehow gone back into the opening phase. I think that's okay. So next I'll just bring the bishop up, promote it, retreat it, and have a very difficult fight ahead. But I've protected the head of my pieces, and my king looks somewhat safe. So what more can I hope for? Oh, they're going to bring the silver out. That could be an issue. I have to be ready for that. But yeah, if I bring this bishop up, back, back, and this silver out, then that's about the best I can do here. I could still drop a rook here, too. Such a mess. But yeah, I'd like to use these pieces and not just keep them idle. And my opponent might be helping me out here. Oh, they're threatening a pawn drop. Check that out. Mm -hmm. Well, we have to defend against this pawn drop threat. Oh, and then they're going to push over here. That's annoying. Oh, they can't. I have it defended. Um, okay, so my backmost point is not defended. I don't know, man. Attacking with the rook. Seems complicated. Hmm. This is so bad. Okay, I can take that. Oh, I see. This gives them the lance they need. That's why they do it. Sampun. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna lose the lance one way or the other here. I missed this fork. Yep, so you get the lance. I get a tempo, but does that make up for losing a lance? Maybe. Oh, I can't drop over here because of rules. Right, so I'll drop here instead. Hmm. 
2分30秒。I think we've confused both of us. They can pawn drop on my rooks. Oh, not quite there. That was off by one. I think they had a better drop. Um. Hmm. Actually, that's really good. That's a smart move. All right, fuck it. There goes my rook. Or silver, or everything. But, um, maybe somehow this is okay? If nothing else, I'm getting the pieces out of the corner. But yeah, the lance drop is coming, and I can't stop it. Oh, they didn't have two pawns, so this is the slower way to win material. Um, but I get a tempo. But is one tempo enough for this bullshit? No. <laughs> That for whatever threats I'm going to make, they, they win material one tempo for a rook or for a silver or whatever. It's just not worth it. Um, but then they choose not to win the material, so let's run. Let's run like hell. And they get to defend their king, and my attack dies, and it's all sad. Okay, there goes my knight. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't know, man. All right, we put the rook on a square. That's the plan, right? If I say it's a plan, it's a plan. I still can't use either of these squares because they have it very heavily defended. Um, the silver is doing double duty, protecting the rook and the pawn, but the horse is also protecting the pawn. I meant to say the gold in the pawn and the silver is protecting. Given their pace, I'm inclined to believe that they're going to forget the one obvious thing I have. I'll see if my cheapo happens. There's the cheapo. They gave me the lance. I didn't even try to set that up. That was... It just happens. So I get material back, and I can start making threats again. Mm hmm. I'm not even going to let the dragon roam all over my position. I'm going to win material the, in a reasonable way here. Um, maybe I did something terrible. Keep boom. Maybe I did something terrible. My threats suck here. I 
my biggest threat is to win on time. I wish I had another serious threat, but I just don't. Don't fuck this up. <laughs> Time pressure makes fools of us all. I could have taken that. Thanks for the game. Okay, two down, one to go. Good luck. Yeah, let's do it. Exchanging the Rook Pawn has three advantages, is the proverb. Not sure that applies here, but it's still fun to imagine. Um, okay, in the teaching ladder game I just played, I got wrecked by not pushing this pawn. So let's push it. Hmm. I'm pretending I have a pawn on 5-5. Five five. It takes a good imagination, but... Oh, wow. That's an interesting statement there. Um... That's an interesting statement. They're saying it's okay for me to push here. Pawn takes, silver takes, knight takes, and if I promote, they don't care because they got the silver. But they just hung this. Um, I'm not sure they're correct. I'm not sure that my attack is correct either. Yeah, it would be crazy for me to attack that way right here. Some more patience is called for.
And this is the position we both were aiming for. One of us is incorrect. It's dangerous because I've not completed my castle. It's so dangerous. But maybe it's still correct, despite being dangerous. Rook up. Advance. I don't know. Rook up. Silver up. Gold takes. I don't see the problem. Yeah, I'm playing this extremely provocative way, but I think they need one more attacker for this, for their plan to succeed. Or they need their rook defended. In either case, that's going to cost them a move. Right, so I don't have to take that. This ain't checkers. I can take here. Hmm. The rook is still hanging. Okay, they defend the rook. If I drop a pawn, rook takes. If I drop another pawn, the rook moves. And I take this. Nanafun. Not sure that that's best. I think I have better. If I move the gold back, that's actually interesting. Let's try it. Bishop takes. Pawn takes. This looks fine. I've not lost any pieces for nothing. And I escape. Oh, fuck. Well, they have a fork here. I can retreat. Um, that's, this is sketchy. So if I retreat, they could drop a gold here. Uh, I lose a bishop for a gold. If I drop my bishop here, where's the tactic? I don't know. We're gonna try this and probably regret it as soon as we can find out what the threat is. Ah, okay, they're trying to get me to move the bishop away. Um, And for the right price, I might move away my bishop and give up this bishop for gold. That could happen. All right. Yeah, all my pieces are trapped. This is exciting. Um, hmm. I defend my bishop indirectly while also threatening this point. While also threatening to promote my rook back here, which would trap their dragon. Except that's not... It's not a diagonal attack like I imagined it to be. I thought this would promote my rook. You'd think eventually I would learn how the pieces move and how the pieces promote. It's not easy to remember. But yeah, I was proud of this. I was like, hey, then I get a dragon and it's all good. Except that's not a dragon. So this actually sucks. But it could be worse. Mm -hmm. That's a fork. Mm -hmm. Let's go over here. I could have taken this, actually. Uh, maybe I should have... No, then my rook is still hanging. Never mind. We'll try this way to activate my rook. It looks interesting. I can take here, and then the center file is open, and the diagonal is also open. 
That's a lost move. You don't give up a move for nothing in this Go game. Alright, so I'm attacking your knight. You're going to respond to my knight threat, or threat against the knight. Mm -hmm. Then I'm still threatening the knight. I'm threatening a silver drop. The king might run away if I do that silver drop, but it's still a threat. Actually, this is checkmate. Silver, king up, promote mate. So they need to do something. Mm -hmm. Sharp stuff, man. Um, I took a pawn. I'm going to do this. I don't see everything that's going to happen, but the combination of this fork, this threat, so that's also kind of a fork, and then this promotion, all this put together seems to amount to something. Whether it does or not, I don't know, but it feels like there's got to be something here. Mm hmm. Threatening a knight drop. Still have to respond to that too. I mean, I guess not responding is a kind of response. I don't know. But, like, this looks spooky. So I'm threatening a silver drop mate. Mm -hmm. This promotes. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Silver, silver takes. Uh, I don't see a clear checkmate here. Um. It'd be nice if I did. I just don't. Silver, silver, takes, Something. takes, that looks interesting. Yeah, let's try our chances with this, even though I, I don't see all of it. it. Looks interesting. If I move my dragon... This looks interesting. This continues to look more and more interesting by the move, doesn't it? I guess we'll take that. That's good. Cool. Alright, three games down. Very exciting. Hope we enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.